planing episode we took a board we planed it on one side and then a second board planed on one face put those two faces together and we made an edge joint glued those up made ourselves a panel um, this works well most of the time um, on occasion you may find that you get some boards that tend to react or move a little bit after that first face is planed. Um, it's not an uncommon occurrence. What this could end up with if you don't plane the second side of that board before you glue it up into a panel is your panel could cup. Not the end of the world because you still haven't planed that panel to thickness um, and you still have some thickness to some uh, rough planing to do on the opposite side of that panel. Um, but it could create more work for you. Um, in essence, once, once you plane the rough face of that panel, that panel itself could tend to cup or move out of the reaction or just re, you know, releasing some of the tension that's inside that panel. Um, so a uh, way to solve this problem and a way to address this problem before it occurs is something that's called skip planing. And that's what I want to show you today. Um, you may find lumber at the lumber yard that has already been skip planed. I suggest you avoid this if you can because all it does for you is reduce the thickness of the lumber that you have and increase the cost of the lumber. So really I would say if you can avoid lumber that's already been planed you're better off doing so. However what I will frequently do in my shop is to skip plane my lumber before I do the actual uh, full flattening of the lumber to make panels or glue up and make joinery. What skip planing is, is basically we take this board and we're gonna just do a real quick and dirty planing of both faces. Well, what I like to do is just to try and remove the cupping from the cup side and remove most of the hump from the hump side um, and get the board generally flat. We're not really looking for joinery flat at this point. In fact, all I'm gonna use is my four plane. I'm not even going to bother using my tri plane at this point because my main goal is just to remove some lumber, some wood from each side of the board, then let it re-equilibrate again. I'm going to use the four plane, take a little bit of lumber off of each side, and then set it aside overnight, maybe 48 hours, before I go ahead and do the flattening. Now whether you start on the cup side or start on the hump side is really up to you. There's no right or wrong. It's just a preference thing. Um, I do it both ways depending on my mood for that particular day and depending on how I place the board down on the bench top. Um, you know, if I place the cup side down, then I'll start on the hump side and, or vice versa. So um, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. And this isn't something that should take you a long time to do. We're really talking maybe two to three minutes of face, if that. It's a very quick process just to remove a little bit of material from each face. In the end, we're probably only taking about a 30 second of an inch of material off of each side. So we're really leaving a lot of thickness left in the board. So I'll start taking a few quick strokes in the center just to remove any hump. Short choppy strokes, again, I'm just trying to remove any humping in the center. Hey, you can see the plane stopped cutting, so that means this is below the sides. Now we'll go straight across. Okay. 
And that's really it for the first side. Flip it over and repeat. And that's really it. So you can see I left both sides pretty rough planed. Um, you know, you can still feel the scallops. You could see the scallops across the grain. All cross grain planing, I didn't bother doing any long grain planing yet. Um, just trying to remove the major cupping, major humping from the board, put it aside for 24 hours. Then tomorrow I can get started doing the final flattening after this board has had a chance to re-equilibrate and do any additional moving that it's gonna do. And one other thing, just make sure you relabel it so you don't forget where that particular board goes. Thanks for watching.